Now, last night during the uh, debate, Hillary Clinton had defended the Clinton Foundation's work in Haiti against an attack by Donald Trump. Now, Trump actually called what happened in Haiti uh, with the Clinton Foundation a complete disgrace. In fact, I want to show you this really small snippet of the fight uh, between those two. And you take a look at the people of Haiti. I was at a little Haiti the other day in Florida, and I want to tell you they hate the Clintons because what's happened in Haiti with the Clinton Foundation is a disgrace. And you know it, and they know it, and everybody knows Secretary it. Secretary Clinton. Well, very quickly, we um, at the Clinton Foundation spend 90 percent, 90 percent of all the money that uh, is donated on behalf of programs of people around the world and in our own country. I'm very proud of that. We have the highest rating from the watchdogs that uh, follow foundations. And I'd be happy to compare what we do with the Trump Foundation, which took money from other people and bought a six-foot portrait of Donald. Now, look, the Clinton Foundation, yes, is better than the Trump Foundation. There's no doubt. But it doesn't mean that they don't have problems. Not to say that they're equal, but in the interests of actual facts, Trump is right on his criticism of Haiti. And I've got back, uh, facts to back it up. Now, the nation actually reported back in 2011 that many of the shelters that were built uh, by the Clinton Foundation in Haiti following the devastating earth earthquake the previous year uh, had some problems. Now, those problems included being laced with formaldehyde. Now, formaldehyde, not good for people, okay? And so being in shelters lined with this stuff is not going to be good for people. Now, the, the foundation also sent so-called hurricane-proof shelters that were uh, primarily used as schools for children. That, that's the stuff that had the formaldehyde on them. Now, the nation, when nation reporters visited these shelters, uh, six to eight months after they'd been installed, they found them to consist of 20 imported prefab shelters uh, that were poorly put together. They had some problems uh, from mold to sweltering heat up to 100 degrees to just plain old bad construction. They're just flimsy, they're shoddy. Oftentimes these buildings leaked through the windows and doors whenever it rained. And of course, I've got to get more into depth the formaldehyde. I keep bringing that up, but seriously, that it was an issue. Uh, lab tests conducted as part of the nation's investigation discovered levels of the carcinogen in a sixth grade class uh, Clinton Foundation classroom in uh, Leogane, I'm sorry if I butcher that name, uh, at 250 parts per billion. Assay Technologies, the accredited lab that analyzed the air tests, identifies 100 parts per billion and more as the level in which quote, 65 to 80% of the population will most likely exhibit some adverse health symptoms when exposed continually over extended periods of time. Like, for example, in a classroom. If you're going to that classroom every day, over six to eight months, you're going to start to have problems. Now, what kind of problems uh, are these people are going to have? According to the CDC, formaldehyde exposure can exacerbate sy symptoms of asthma and has been linked to chronic lung disease. What's worse, studies have shown that children are particularly vulnerable to its respiratory effects. So you have these buildings that are set up as schools with children inside with formaldehyde. You're going to have some issues there. And a lot of the children in this nation investigation uh, were reporting uh, lots of different health issues. So this was not good. Now, there are more disturbing facts about this. Who built the shelters? Well, it was a company called Clayton Homes. Now, Clayton Homes, at the time of this investigation, back in uh, 2011, uh, was being sued by the U.S. for providing these same kind of homes to FEMA in the wake of Hurricane Katrina. So they sold these homes to FEMA. FEMA set these up with formaldehyde, the same kind of disaster trailers. No, this is not good. Now, here's some details about who owns Clayton Homes. It's actually owned by Berkshire Hathaway. Berkshire Hathaway is the holding company run by one Warren Buffett. 
Warren Buffett is, of course, uh, one of the private sector members of the Clinton Global Initiative and, of course, a huge supporter and donor of Hillary Clinton. He endorsed her both in 2008 and this cycle as well. As much as I despise it, man, I got to give Donald Trump this one. This may be the one true thing he said last night. He makes a good point about Haiti. He makes a good point about the Clinton Foundation um, and how they botched their help in Haiti. Instead of actually helping, they might have made things worse for a lot of people. Now, I doubt that that was their intention. I'm not saying the Clinton Foundation is there to do despicable acts just because that's what they want to do. No, what they did is that they ended up giving a no-bid contract to a political ally. Warren Buffett, his company, Clinton Homes, which was building shoddy, crappy homes filled with formaldehyde that actually makes people sick. They're cutting corners. Oh, but I know somebody, I, I know Hillary Clinton, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get this contract to build these homes for the foundation to quote-unquote help these people and make a buck in the process. It all has to do with politics, who you know, and uh, who butters your bread, man. <laughs> and we know, we know that uh, Warren Buffett definitely likes to butter Clinton's bread. Now, even though the Trump Foundation is also absurdly bad and was basically used to help his political ambitions, that doesn't mean that Hillary Clinton's foundation can get off the hook for what they've done in Haiti. They did not help very much. Uh, and yes, maybe they do great work elsewhere, but you've got to basically, you know, uh, uh, put the blame where it lies. And in this point, when it comes to the Haiti relief efforts, the Clinton Foundation did a very, very poor job, and that needs to be pointed out. Hey, everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent non-corporate media, go to our Patreon page and become a patron, patreon.com slash TYTNation.